She was always told what she couldn't do. And with this, this have brought some self-doubt. So Goddess Venus worked with Amani and created a spell that would boost her self-confidence and open her eyes and allow her to see the greatness that she has inside. Amani made great accomplishments with this. She may have gotten a little bit overbearing at times, but she had to learn how to be humble with the gift that she had. Because she was going to help others be confident and to believe in themselves and not to be overwhelmed with self-doubt. At times when Amani saw her reflection, she did not know how to take it. There was a time when she was very doubtful about herself. She would brush her hair, wear nice dresses, but when she saw the face that looked back at her in the mirror, she would begin to feel doubtful again. People would share with her about her beauty, but simply she just didn't see it. She journeyed afar to an ancient place where the walls between magic and the real world blurred. She could not say what drove her so far to do such a thing, but she felt as though something was missing in her life. Amani desired love, true and everlasting love, but first she needed to find her own purpose her own destiny. And most of all, Amani was still on the journey of loving herself. In a glade surrounded by the fog, she found a lake. It was pristine, the water so still, it was like liquid glass. She looked forward into the waters and instead of her reflection, she saw that of a different woman. She was the goddess of alchemy, Venus. The goddess walked out of the lake and stepping from one room to another and stood before Amani. What have you come before me to find? Venus asked. I am the goddess Venus. And if I can grant it, I will give it to you. Amani said, I want to love myself. I want to see the greatness that's inside. Still mystified by the magical woman before her. I want to see my own worth and beauty. And I want to be confident in myself. At times I am riddled with self-doubt. Goddess Venus looked at Yamani. Ah, I have seen this all too many times, Venus admitted. A beautiful young woman stuck inside a cocoon of her own making? Well, I will make for you something very special. I will conjure up something very powerful to make you emerge like a butterfly. A very powerful transformation. Really? Amani said. That would be splendid. Armani replied. What do I have to do? What can I give in return? I am a goddess that exists to spread love and beauty. 
Venus replied. The repayment is to seek out true love and fight for it. But most of all, you have to believe in love. Venus smiled. First, we must have you see as you are meant to see yourself. This lake is of my own creation. It can show truth to any that look within it. When you first glanced, you saw me, for it was the truth of what you sought. You shall look again and see yourself as you are meant to be seen. Be not afraid for what you see is real. Armani nodded secretly afraid that she would be nothing She was afraid to look. But finally, she looked over at the water and seen her reflection. She leaned forward, the vision of a young woman forming before her. The woman was beautiful and graceful, and after a few moments, Armani realized it was her. This was how people saw her, and now that she had seen it, she could not get out of the vision in her mind. You will see this looking back. Anytime you behold yourself now, Venus said, it is as if your eyes are now finally open. Thank you, Amarni stated. I cannot thank you enough. Venus whispered, Return home. Use this new confidence to find the love that you so deserve. But before you do, I will take you under my wing and conjure up something very powerful. Come with me. Beauty Deep, beauty sweet, lover's eyes on me to keep. Magic I send, love come to me. Bind our love, a union shall be. Think of thoughts of only me. Bind our hearts in unity. These are the words that Goddess Venus spoke into the universe, giving power to her words and standing behind it with her magic. One of her heartbroken sisters was stricken with the spirit of low self-esteem, always had a different perspective on how she was perceived. Her self-worth was slow. She projected it onto others. She was lonely. She clearly wanted love and companionship, but did not know how to get it. At least she thought. She would try and meet people. She would try and find a companion, but she would eventually be consumed with self doubt, not believing in her true abilities, not believing in the magic that she had inside of her, but little did she know 
she actually did have magic deep inside of her. She at times felt like she was in a world that didn't relate to her or she didn't belong in. She shared her deepest secrets with Venus. Iman longed to be loved and there was a particular person she had in her heart. She fell in love with someone yet Her heart was broken in pieces. She shared this deep secret with Goddess Venus. Venus understood what, how a broken heart felt. And this is where she carried a deep compassion for Armani. Venus could easily cast a spell on her that would make her alluring to those who she would meet. They would be drawn to her and not know why. She needed to find a way to make others perceive her in a different light. She wanted or she needed to make her most admired love potion To make Iman see her in a different light, or see herself in a different light, she needed the spiritual insight to see the goodness that she had inside. And pretty much, Goddess Venus was helping her along the way, bringing the goodness out to the surface, so that she is able to identify the greatness that lives inside of her. Goddess Venus was only there to help. She was only there to assist in anything or any magic that she conjured up was only to bring the best out of her. This was the challenge that Goddess Venus set for herself. This was the challenge that Venus strive to allow Armani to see who she really is inside. She studied and she analyzed each and every herb, each and every oil that she can mix. She even went outside to find the most powerful herbs that she can find, to mix and to conjure up her powerful spell. It was literally the opposite of what she had tried to do After many long nights of work, Venus was very determined to find a breakthrough to a new spell that she would conjure up. The matters of the heart was very complex, and no rational mind can understand it. The heart is very unpredictable. There that lies deep within the heart core is a deep, undying love. Actually, is in many of us. As Venus can seek the deep things of the heart, this is what makes her very wise. She has the ability to tap into the deep forces that are shrouded in secret. What she'd set out to do with her magic is to bring two destined love together in unity. This is when she started to think outside the box. She started to perceive things she did not perceive before. Perhaps it was not in her past successes she needed to look for the answer, but indeed her past failures. It was easy to 
only look at success as a model, but that was short-sighted. It was easy for Venus in all of her wisdom to think in such a way. However, a failed idea is not necessarily wrong. Sometimes it is very close to being right. And in them are some ideas that could still bear fruit. Venus had finally done it. She had sent her energy combined with her secret that had the ability to alter the human emotion. To make them feel and also perceive themselves like she wanted them to be. At first, there was a little change. She worked her way. And when faced with people, she would be meek and shy. This is who she was before. This is, or maybe was the person she was trying to get away from. To detach herself from, actually. However, by surprise, little by little, things started to change for the better. It started with the weaver liking the work that she was doing, feeling good about herself, and feeling like she finally liked who she was as a person. By the time she was done working, she was interacting with the people in the village, being bold and even almost flirty in a way, but yet feeling very confident in who she is. The person that was so-called buried deep inside of her started to come to surface. She started to manifest into the person that she desired. As Amani went home, she thought about this great transformation that she has gone through. She still feels herself going through this change, but she feels the direct energy from the moon, the full moon that is. And this is what Goddess Venus did. When she did her spell, she allowed it and she performed it under a full moon. She anticipated this concoction. She made this concoction bold. She made it so strong that whoever this spell was directed to, it allowed them to feel very confident. Amani looked at herself in the mirror and for the first time she felt good about who she was and what was actually looking back at her. She appreciated how she looked. She turned around and swirled in the mirror. She admired her beautiful hair, her beautiful curves. She actually seen herself as the goddess that she always were. Armani went out into the village. She was very excited and felt very confident. And she noticed how others were looking at her and giving her compliments during her walk through the village. Everyone that crossed her path began to take notice of her. This was the second side of the spell, making everyone take notice of her. Venus loved this particular spell she conjured up and made it specifically 
for Anani. Venus consulted with her spirit guides and deities, especially when it was working to such a great effect. The weaver met many men and women along the way. She was like a magnet. Her personality was able to weave in and out. She was able to find words that she never used before. And her conversation was very engaging. Yes, she was extremely charismatic and she would draw others in with the beauty that took over her. Well, she was always beautiful, but now she was able to see it for herself. However, Amani grew very bold in her confidence. Bordering on pride and excessive vanity, this was the opposite of what it was supposed to do, and it drove some people away. As it wore off, the Amani went home, feeling strange but glad she was able to push her boundaries. Even though it did not work to the extent of how she wanted it to, she had to only learn the lessons. And the lessons are to be confident, to believe in yourself, but not use it in a negative way, but continue to be positive. And whatever you do, be able to help others with love, not being proud or arrogant. These are the lessons that she needed to learn on her own. This way she was able to manage the gift that Goddess Venus was able to allow her to see. Amani learned many lessons that she was always beautiful. She just needed to believe in herself. 